So this particular mosaic is unique in Britain. It tells the story of Achilles and his battle with Hector at the end of the Trojan War. There's nothing like it in Britain that we've seen before and similar scenes are also rare in Europe. The mosaic is also unusual in the way it's laid out, telling the story as it does across three panels, almost in a comic book style. This for me has been an absolute thrill to be honest to be involved with this and I feel like we're very lucky to have discovered what we found. I'm Jim Irvine, I'm the farmer's son and I found this mosaic in 2020 last year. During lockdown last year, we took a day out to the field and during the uh, visit, we were walking back to the car and um, I noticed some pottery that was on the ground. So this really piqued my interest. Um, and when I got home, I did some research and, and the research um, led to me spotting a crop mark on um, some satellite imagery. I contacted the museum on the Monday after we'd done some initial investigations and excavations and immediately I had uh, Richard Clark uh, the local archaeologist or county archaeologist came to visit to have a look around um, followed by a number of other people who all looked in our in our excavation and went a bit quiet and after that it was very quick it was like literally within a couple of weeks before we had people on site to start working this properly. Well about a year ago I was working from home in my kitchen and I got a phone call um, from Richard Clark who's a planning archaeologist at Leicestershire County Council and he said uh, is there any chance that you last could come and help and I was, OK, yep, just lead us to it. This sounds fascinating. From what had been exposed, you could see figures, you could see horses, you could see chariots. And once the importance of the discovery became clear, Historic England provided funding for ULAS to carry out further detailed recording of the mosaic and investigation into its wider setting. Within this field, there is an array of buildings which have been discovered by Geophysical Survey. They all lie within this fantastic sort of uh, angular ditched enclosure. A Roman villa would have been a high status um, farming uh, establishment with its own landscape estate. But what we're looking at in this field is the very core of that settlement. This year, we returned to the site to investigate further and this work has been funded by the School of Archaeology and Ancient History so that archaeology students can fulfil their fieldwork requirements to complete their degrees. It worked really well as we were able to gather more information on the site and also to enable the students to get valuable training whilst working on some fantastic archaeology. What we can tell from um, the, the style of the mosaic and the high quality of its workmanship um, is that this is someone who was classically educated and they wanted to either kind of educate their friends in that way or, or perhaps more likely show off their knowledge. It's, it's really interesting in terms of those little sort of intricacies of this person's character that you may be able to see from this floor. Working with the experts has been amazing so I've learned a lot. It's been really helpful because I've been able to be useful um, on the site and support the students as well as the uh, archaeologists who are here. This is a unique piece of ancient art that needs to be studied, not just for archaeological purposes, but for art history, ancient history, classics, um, understanding, and, and also how people in Roman Britain interacted with that. And this is a really good example of how that knowledge was, was being used and, and incorporated into the culture of people that lived in these kind, kind of establishments. It is because the site is so unusual, but also so well preserved, with a high research value, that it is being designated a scheduled monument which will protect this fantastic piece of history for years to come.